fraction sin inverse dy by dx is equal to x plus y. Options are a x equal to tangent x plus y minus secant of x plus y plus c. Option b x is equal to tangent x plus y plus c. Option c x is equal to tangent of x plus y plus secant of x plus y plus c. And option d is none of these. We put x plus y equal to u. That gives us 1 plus dy by dx is equal to du by dx. The given differential equation is sine inverse of dy by dx is equal to x plus y, which is u. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to sine u. Or du by dx minus 1 is equal to sine u which gives us du upon 1 plus sin u is equal to dx, which is a variable separable form. Therefore, integrating we get 1 minus sin u upon cos square u du is equal to dx minus a constant c. Integral of secant square u minus secant u tangent u du is equal to x minus c. Integrating we get tangent u minus secant u is equal to x minus c or x is equal to tangent of x plus y minus secant of x plus y plus c where we have put the value of u as x plus y. Hence option A is correct. If the general solution of the differential equation x dx plus y dy upon x dy minus y dx is equal to square root of a square minus x square minus y square upon x square plus y square is sine inverse of square root of x square plus y square upon a is equal to f of x y plus c where f x y is equal to a tangent inverse x y y b sine inverse x y y c tangent inverse y upon x and d sine inverse y upon x. The given differential equation can be rewritten as x dx plus y dy upon a square minus root of a x square plus y square whole square within the root is equal to x dy minus y dx upon square root of x square plus y square which can be rewritten as 1 by 2 times 1 upon square root of a square minus square root of x square plus y square whole square into 2x dx plus 2y dy upon square root of x square plus y square is equal to x dy minus y dx upon x square plus y square. Using the standard integral formula, you get sine inverse of square root of x square plus y square upon a is equal to tangent inverse of y upon x plus c, which is given as f of x y plus c. Therefore, f of x y is equal to tangent inverse of y upon x, which shows option c is correct. Next, the general solution of the differential equation x plus y dy by dx is equal to a square times x dy by dx minus y upon x squared plus y squared is x squared plus y squared plus lambda times tangent inverse y by x plus c. Where lambda is option a a square, option b 2 a square, option c 1 by 2 a square and option D, none of these. The given differential equation is x dx plus y dy is equal to a square times x dy minus y dx upon x square plus y square. Or it can be written as we multiply both sides by 2, we get 2 times x dx plus y dy is equal to 2a square times x dy minus y dx upon x square plus y square. Integrating both sides and using the standard exact differential formulas, we get integral of 2x dx plus y dy 
is equal to 2a squared integral of x dy minus y dx upon x squared plus y squared plus c. The left hand side becomes x squared plus y squared. And on the right hand side we get 2a squared times tangent inverse of y by x plus c. Hence, comparing, we get lambda is equal to 2a squared, which shows option B is correct.